One thing about CF that makes it stand out about more than other chronic illnesses is there's a lot of work in the everyday life. So there's airway clearance and there's nebulizer treatments and there's enzymes and all the extra calories that you have to eat in a day. And at the same time, you have people like me saying you need to be out playing, you need to exercise. What about joining school activities? Because first and foremost, they're kids. So they've got to do all the the regular kid things, but also CF really encourages kids to eat healthy, be very active, and at the same time they've got to fit all those treatments in and get to the bus on time in the morning. And I think for parents it can often be a struggle. Managing the CF around all of the activities we do, it can become kind of hard. I think the families that seem to have the most success in making sure all the CF care gets done are the people who just assume that it's a natural part of their day and the parents don't get stressed and therefore that carries over to the kids and they don't get stressed. We try to have him do some treatments in the morning before he goes to school. That doesn't always happen. A lot of times it's all clumped together in one big treatment before he goes to bed. My philosophy of raising both the child with CF and without is to try to treat my child with CF no differently than my other child. Owen's pretty involved in non-academic activities. Outside of school, I do soccer during the fall. I do tap and ballet. We try to treat Owen exactly the same as Morgan. We give him the options to get into all different kinds of activities just as she does and um, treat them as much the same as possible and not make it you know, feel to him like he's sick all the time. The activities I'm involved in outside of school are wakeboarding, water sports, lacrosse, karate, and piano. Gavin is very busy. But we feel like the activities we want, to, we want to encourage him to do those things that involve a lot of running. It's not a big deal to ha- have to deal with CF in school because it doesn't affect you because your lungs, you're not running unless you're in PE. When I'm taking my meds, it doesn't matter because no one, people see me but they already know what it is. One of the best things about our cystic fibrosis patients is now as teenagers they are living busy active lives. With all of their sports activities, music, dance, drama club, they hardly have time to fit in their treatments and snacks that are needed to maintain good cystic fibrosis health. One of the things that I like to advise patients to do is to continue to have a written schedule for yourself and written goals. Even when life is busy because you have all these fun activities to do, you really need to take care of yourself. Life is only going to get busier as you get older, so setting a good foundation now in the teenage years is imperative. It may seem like I'm only just skipping this treatment today because it's the weekend of the play, or I just don't have time to fit in a snack before I go on the soccer field because I won't be able to run as fast. But you need to brainstorm to find a way to make all of your CF care fit into your life so that you can be a healthy, active adult. The way I balance my treatments for lacrosse, if I know I have a lacrosse day, I do it early in the morning because I'm really slow in the morning, so I get my treatments done just in case, it's because I don't want to miss the bus. And so after school, I get, I do my treatments right away and take my pills. So then the, I can do the cross and I won't have to do it late at night. Summer times are always a challenge for us because I think that with our with the with the regimented schedule, you just know you're going to get up, you're going to do your treatments in the morning, then you're going to go to school, and then you're going to come home, and then you're going to either go to your sports and then do treatments, or you're going to do your treatments and then go to your sports. Um, it's a it's a it's a, it's a structured schedule. So when summertime comes and things get all you know loose, out of, loose and uh, it's great in a way because it's a little more freedom. But then with the freedom, the time slips away, and then, you know, now it's noon and we haven't done our treatments yet. So we find that that's something we struggle with a lot in the summertime, is really um, making a much more conscious effort to 
make sure both sets of treatment times are being done. And again, it could be, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night when we're watching a movie that they're doing them. And, and really just being really aware of that extra salt and that extra um, stuff that they're burning just by being outside. It's not what you choose to do. You don't have to be um, a varsity, quote unquote, athlete to be able to do airway clearance with your activities. You can enjoy a brisk walk. You can be a dancer. You can be a singer. You can play an instrument. The most important thing is doing something every day for 30 minutes that challenges your lungs. I like to tailor the exercise into their interests. I like to find out what kind of makes um, our patient and the child excited, what makes them happy, what can really get them motivated to participate. What sports like have we played? Soccer. And what are we playing now? Basketball. In the spring, what are you going to play? Are you going to play ba baseball? Yep. Do you have some great coaches? Yes. Do you think that your coaches are very helpful if you cough a lot during practice? Yes. And they encourage you to take care of yourself? Yes. Awesome. You've got to really accent the positive and really think about organizations, organizational skills. So how can you get everything done in a day? A little more preparation, a little more organization and planning is really helpful for families. And also just trying to achieve some sort of balance so it's not all about the CF. It's all about being, you know, whatever age you are with your friends and in school. To learn more about this issue, ask your CF Foundation accredited care center or contact the CF Foundation directly. Call 800-FIGHT-CF or email us at info at cff.org.